Hello my friends, we have the latest update on situation on the front lines in Ukrainian war. Russia decided to change the direction of their main attack in Bakhmut. They wanted just to capture the city with a straightforward attack, but unsuccessfully, Ukrainians were able to build the strong defense lines and Russia now puts their main vector to Solidar. The Ukrainian resistance defense lines are not that strong in Solidar compared to Bakhmut and that's why Russia is looking for some sort of the opportunity to break through the north part as well and then go to Bakhmut from the north direction. They also try to do it on the south but also and successfully but here on the north they have some sort of success and let's go to the timeline. I will zoom into the place and now let's go with the timeline so it was yesterday and as you can see Russia took quite a lot of the land over here but most of those lands so here and here they took it most of those lands are filled and here just Pidhorne it's the village very close to the Bahmut city but to take the central part of the Bakhmut city Russia also needs to cross uh, this river over here and it's the natural obstacle and it may be used by one more defense line by Ukrainian forces and Russians need to have the engineering equipment to cross it and the Wagner group is just here fighting for the Bakhmut city to take it and Solidar is under the big threat right now because it's like jammed between uh, the main attack vectors by the Russians from this part and that part they may capture this city but you know the situation on the front lines may be changed dramatically because the Russian leader Putler announced the ceasefire for tomorrow and day after tomorrow because Russia have the Christmas parties Yes, they celebrate the Christmas on 7th of January. The announcement of the ceasefire happened just after President of Turkey Recep Tayyip Erdogan called to Vladimir Putin. Russian officials did not comment on the topic of those talks, but right after it, the Orthodox leader of the Russian church, Kirill, asked both sides to ceasefire and President Vladimir Putin told or ordered to Shoigu, the Minister of Defense, to cease fire tomorrow until the day after tomorrow and Ukraine say that will not gonna cease fire until Russians will be driven out from Ukrainian territory. This is kind of strange move from Vladimir Putin because they're in the middle of fight and now they want one-way ceasefire. President Biden say that they just want to breathe some oxygen in the middle of the fight and clearly if Ukraine doesn't want to ceasefire what's the purpose of it? The president of Toronto Turkey also called to President Zelensky and Ukrainian officials published the details of the talk. President's office said that they spoke about the Green Deal and also demilitarization of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. At the same time, Russians were silent, so I do expect one more goodwill gesture from the Russian army. Not sure that Ukrainian army will go and take the nuclear power plant in Zaporizhia, but it could be neutral territory for some time. After all, if things will go as planned and Ukraine will start a counterattack in January on Melitopol direction, Ukrainian army would liberate the nuclear power plant in any case. But of course, it's better to avoid the fighting in that area. Before we spoke about the new mobilization wave in Russian Federation that Russia may announce it, I think it may not announce it and do it in a hidden way because today some of the videos were published in a social media, for example this one, uh, then the Russian guy got the official notice from the military uh, for him to go and serve for the Russian army and you can clearly see what he does with that letter. Uh, you have some sort of the risks doing so on camera probably they're gonna find the guy because there is the name of his but still it's the right thing to do for the Russian man and that is how they save their lives as you can see officially no new mobilization in Russian Federation and the borders are still open and in his speech President Vladimir Zelensky said that Ukraine will not follow any kind of the ceasefire agreements until Russians will go out from Ukraine Ukrainian territory or until Ukrainian army will drive them out from Ukraine. He said that this ceasefire from Russia is nothing but fraud. Awesome news from Germany that will give Ukraine the Patriot systems and also the armor recalls of martyrs. About the Patriot systems, remember three weeks ago then Germany said no, we're not gonna 
give uh, those systems to Ukraine rather than to Poland and they sent some of the systems to Poland and now they said that they will provide those to Ukraine as well so then some of the leaders say no it doesn't mean no you just need to wait as it happened with the Heimer systems before and as Joe Biden today said that they will not supply Abrams tanks to Ukraine murder is also a nice armored vehicle and now the talks are ongoing of how many of those vehicles we're gonna get from the Germany side and the United States will provide Ukraine with those armored vehicles so those are M2 Bradleys and those are similar to Marders I would say yeah once again very similar the plus in this vehicle that it has the javelin system installed in a turret it means that it can fight against the tanks there is the article from some of the European military experts saying that Ukraine is getting ready for the counterattack on Melitopol direction together with Berdansk. My friends, it's the risky operation to conduct it during the winter time, but still it's not unreal. There is the report that the Russian command center was attacked in Kherson region and they have many of the casualties and many wounded uh, personnel. And we have some sort of the coordinates, so let me show you the place. So as you can see, it happened very close to Armansk, which is already the Crimea. So this is the border between uh, the Kherson region and Crimea. And it happened very close to the road that Russia uses for supplies of their army to supply their army in Kherson region and here is the building i think it used to be the hotel or something like that and now we have the report that this building was demolished i've just checked the russian military public's uh, z supporters and they're panicking about the putin announcement of the ceasefire for tomorrow they say that it's total nonsense and they need to continue the fighting and they also worry that russia could perform their goodwill gesture once again and the leave for example the parisian nuclear power plant right my friends anyways we're gonna see how the russian announced ceasefire for tomorrow will match the real things on the front lines and i'm gonna keep you updated on situation in ukraine if you want to support this channel just press the like button and if you want to support me financially there are some of the links in the video description below you may support me on patreon paypal or donatella whichever is more convenient for you my friends i wish you all a peaceful sky wherever you are and have a great time.